here. And it's gonna be kind of a shout out, update as to what all's going on. And I'll show you that Murray. Oh wait, it's gone. Because I took it to him. So it's finished up, cleaned up, got it out of here. Um, I think with all the stuff, and I don't tell you this to, to kind of brag. I just tell you this to just so you can, can gauge it and adjust yours uh, accordingly for your area. Uh, for uh, the belt and uh, changing the oil. And I did uh, lube everything and uh, sharpen the blades. I charged him 100 bucks. And uh, he lives down the road, so I took it to him brought him back. But he tells everybody about me so I mean I get a lot of business from him and I've been doing business with him for three years so might be a little low but um, you know I had $14 belt and $4 worth of oil in it uh, and a couple of pumps of grease so nothing terrible it's okay not trying to get rich <sighs> we gotta go put some gas in Cudzu and bring it back over here it's been over there for three days okay guys now we're back in your ass. I thought something was wrong until I remembered I had to cut the fuel off after I filled it up. And hey. And just letting them run a little bit. Let the battery charge up. We did have a pretty cold night. And uh, I'm always going to try to keep tires like that those things do really really well those are some really good tires all right guys walk in here for a second more okay. time okay guys <laughs> now I'm back kind of goofing off a little bit getting a bunch of junk ready uh, we're supposed to be going to do some camping this weekend so it's all the camping junk uh, got to pull the canoes and the kayak out and I can't really load everything up because it may rain tonight so really kind of stuck and I was getting all the life jackets and I found some of my old climbing shit and, and I hate to say it but the extra 50 pounds has not been kind to me um, so kind of snug, uh, snugger than normal, but we're going to be doing some camping uh, at a campground, it's called Deer Lick Campground in Alabama, you can look it up if you're interested in it. Um, we are going to uh, prepper stock. Uh, a lot of friends of mine uh, that do prepping are going to be there from all over the United States and they decided on Alabama for this year. So we're all gonna go down there, hang out, uh, swap a bunch of junk, tell a bunch of lies, drink some beer, uh, do a bunch of fishing, uh, supposed to be some target practice and stuff like that. BC truck, uh, low buck, prepper, it's all one word. Uh, two different guys, but BC truck and then low buck prepper. Uh, are supposed to be down there as well. It's gonna be a really good uh, weekend. You got a minute and you're in central Alabama. So come on by. Now we're back. Okay. Show you kind of what I've got done. I just pulled out one canoe and one kayak. I figure for two people. That one. And then that one. So we'll get everything finished up and loaded. I'm gonna put kudzu back into the little building here. I'm about whooped. I think it's about 7 o'clock too. It's been a long day. But, wish I could take y'all with me. Oh wait, I can. And I'm going to. I'm going to do a bunch of video while I'm down there and it's close enough I'm probably going to drive home and load the video. So, you're not rid of me yet. But, anyway guys, I'm about to head inside the house. It's late. Got to grab some dinner. Y'all be careful. Remember, anybody you hate, send them my video. Because he says, hey. <laughs>